Hello, it's Sol. As you may have noticed, I wasn't able to upload in quite a while. Uh, some of you may know the reason already from my posts on YouTube. Well, I was first demonetized, which shouldn't be a big problem for my upload schedule, but a few days later after my demonetization for repetitive content, my PC died, so I'm now stuck on the very, very slow laptop, and I will try to do something on this said laptop, because it seems that uh, repairing the PC may be a bit complicated than I thought. Uh, well, so thank you for your kind support, especially to those who sent me uh, some donations on PayPal. I am forever in your debt, and please enjoy this uh, shorter than usual video. I will try to make something longer when I have the time. <laughs> Thanks again. Love y'all. Be me. Two years ago. Live in Labrador which is one of the most remote, unpopulated Inuits parts of North America. An area larger than Germany but with less than 30,000 people living in it. Get devastating news that my grandmother passed away, was really close to her. Can't fly to Newfoundland for her funeral because unvaxed. Have to drive out by myself the 2,000 kilometer. 1,250 miles, journey across the Trans-Labrador Highway. One of the most remote, rarely traveled major roads in North America. Not shitting you, it's so remote you'd probably be the only human being within 100 kilometers, 60 miles, for most of the journey and you could go hours without seeing another car. Roughly 2 a.m. in the morning. Can barely keep my eyes open, promise myself I'll stop and sleep at the nearest truck stop, which up here are just tiny little pullovers, no buildings, or lights or signs or anything. Pull into the next one. On the edge of a steep decline with a small stream at the bottom. Notice there's a motorcycle parked there, standing up with not a single person in sight. WTF. The owner's probably camping in the woods, don't care. Naturally paranoid fucker anyways so sleep with my doors locked and windows covered. Wake up around 10 in the morning. Motorcycle's still there, still no sign of anybody. Step outside to take a piss and get a better look over the decline at the stream in the daylight. There's a full pair of clothes and a motorcycle helmet just scattered all over the edge of the stream and a helmet. A cooler that's been open and flung around with its contents, drinks and food, tossed around. Curiosity gets the better of me and I carefully scale down the steep decline and look around. The stream passes under the road through a culvert which is only just a few feet from this scene. Smell a rusty, metallic stench coming from the culvert. Already uneasy from reading slash x slash green texts. Have no plans to enter the culvert but curiosity gets the best of me. I'm just going to go by the entrance, whip out my phone flashlight and peek inside, nothing more. Sound of the stream in the metal culvert is echoing and reverberating really loud as I approach. Fully expecting to see a dead body in there, probably the motorcyclist who fell in. Get to the entrance. Shine my light in. I shit you not. I shit you not. Standing in there hunched over. Was this thing that looked like a cross between a bear and gorilla? with a distinct humanoid shape, with its mouth wide open. Its canines and eyes shining from the light of my flashlight reflecting on it. Nope 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 nope. Stumble backwards away from the culvert and nearly fall over. Clamber up the steep incline on all fours. Can hear the frantic sloshing of the thing in the culvert like it's fighting against the current trying to get to me. Get back into car. Speed off. 
Inform the police in the next town along the way about the motorcycle and fucked up campsite and potential missing person and describe as best as I could the creature I saw in that culvert. Police say they'll investigate it, but I never really got any closure myself since I continued my drive to my grandmother's funeral immediately after that. <laughs>